Hey guys, I'm about to straighten my hair for the first time in six months, which is honestly kind of a long time. It's like not really, but it kind of is. The last time that I, actually I think it's exactly six months today. Wait, is that six months? Yeah, the last time that I straightened my hair was on my birthday, which I think I've straightened it the day before actually, but I went to New York on my birthday, which is May 2nd, and I straightened my hair for that. But yeah, it's November 2nd right now, so it's exactly six months. And this is my hair with no product in it. Kind of, I don't even know. I actually, like, kind of straightened my hair a lot before I did this. You can, like, see on my, I archived, like, most of my posts on my Instagram, but on my Instagram, like, you can see that, like, my old posts... Right before I went to New York, I had my hair straightened so much, a lot. I straightened my hair and I didn't realize. I didn't really like intentionally do this. I'll kind of explain like my hair background really quick, but so like, I don't even know how fucking long this was ago, like when I did this, but I bleached my hair a long ass time ago. It was probably like six or seven years ago. How old am I? It wasn't that long ago. It was like five or six years. I don't know. Maybe more. I have no idea, honestly. I have a very bad memory and I don't even know how old I am. Like time's just like fucking flying. But I bleached my hair basically. And I don't know why I did this. I think I was trying to like go blondish and like I don't even know what I was thinking to be quite honest. But I did it and then it looked really bad because obviously like it ta it's a process to bleach your whole head and like I don't know it's just a process. Oh there's a doggy outside. He's so cute. Oh my god, he's so fluffy. It's a fucking process to bleach your hair. And I like knew that and people told me, but I just was stupid and like so I bleached it and it looked really bad and it was like orange. And they're like, we can't bleach it again for a while. So I just like was like, I don't like this, so I went brown again. So it was literally pointless. When I bleached my hair, I literally killed it like that. I'll show pictures of like my hair before and with like product in it, it was like so frizzy and there was like no curl left basically more just like flat and like really frizzy and dry and it just looked really bad and then i just like hated my hair because it was like so dead and before i had like really really curly hair and i'm still not even back to like what my hair was before it was like really curly i fucked it up bro that dog is so cute i cannot get over it oh also really quick if you hear crying we're fostering puppies right now so they're like basically newborn puppies if you hear any noises like that, that's them in the closet, but oh, so then after that I dyed my hair brown and just I hated it because the bottom half was oh my god, I can't even tell when my roots started growing out, it was like obviously this color. This is my natural color. And then the bottom part was like a reddish brown and it just looked so fucking bad. And so instead of like constantly dyeing it over and over again, I just grew it out and it was a painful process because it fucking looked horrible. And it took me like probably like two years to completely grow the color out and finally when i grew the color out my hair was a lot healthier but it still wasn't where it should have been because i kept straightening it and i don't even know if you care about this fucking history of my fucking hair i don't even know but i'm just gonna tell you okay so then i cut my hair short and i was trying to make it healthy again so i just kind of like cut it short so it would be curlier and healthier and i just tried to take care of it and i still was straightening my hair and then after the last time i straightened my hair around my birthday i never i didn't actually like plan to like not straighten my hair i just kind of like let me turn this on so i can like so it can heat up i also don't have heat protected which like don't come for me i know it's really bad and it's gonna like kill my hair i don't have any but as I was saying, I didn't really plan to do this, like not straighten my hair for six months. It just kind of happened because I just was straightening it so much. I just kind of wanted to like like my curly hair because I never, I always hated it. And I was just like, it would be so frizzy. It's so, straight hair is so much easier to take care of, like to be 100% honest. Like you straighten it, it's good for like four or five days. You literally just brush through it and you're fine. Curly hair, you have to put a bunch of product in it. You can't touch it when it's wet or it'll mess it up and then it looks good for that day and then the next day it's like fucking frizzy and so like it's just i don't know it's hard to take care of and i just like used to hate my hair and wish i had straight hair all the time i still kind of feel like that sometimes because like it's just so much easier to take care of just like zone out but i'm like wondering if this is a bad idea i just wanted a little make earlier more so i just did it i just 
didn't straighten it and I just kind of embraced my curly hair, I guess. I don't fucking know. I just kind of was like, okay, I'm just gonna wear my hair natural every day. Also, if you don't know, I'm really fucking lazy and that's another reason why I didn't straighten my hair because it's a lot of work. So I just kind of let my hair be and yeah, so I'm gonna straighten it. I don't know. I like my curly hair. I feel weird straightening it. Like, I feel like I'm gonna kill it. I mean, hair's already dead, right? I'm waiting for this to heat up. Oh my god, I'm like nervous. Eek. Okay, I think I'm gonna go get heat protectant real quick. Let's go. Mm. Okay, I got it, and the sun's going down, so. I tried to, I tried to get here as quick as I could. Actually, it only took me like 20 minutes, but I got this heat protectant spray. I'm gonna spray it all over my hair. You're supposed to put it on wet hair, but that's not what we're doing. It smells weird. I don't know how I feel about that smell. I got this video idea kind of from, oh. This video idea from Verena. I like was already like not straightening my hair and then I saw that video and I was like, that's a good idea. She actually did a year. Like I didn't want to wait that long, honestly. So I did six months, which is like still a long time, but I just didn't want to fucking wait a whole ass year. Bro, my nails are literally like done. Since I had acrylics on, they're just like so fragile. I don't even have a fucking, oh, I'm just gonna use this fucking shit. I kind of just like do it in like Quarters. A lot of people, I used to do this actually a while ago, but people would like do separate their hair like by sections on that. Like they'll do the top layer or the bottom layer, then the go. I'm literally like just struggling to speak. They'll like section it back like that and then do the bottom and then do the middle and the top. But I just kind of do it in chunks because I don't feel like sectioning off that much. I think this is heated up. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I literally haven't done this in so fucking long. That curl actually looks good. I can't believe I'm doing this. I just gotta do it or I won't do it, you know? This is sad. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to do this. I'm sorry here. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna like see time how long it takes me. Another reason I knew my hair was fucking crisped is because when I was younger, my hair was so curly, it would take me like two hours to straighten my hair. Like it would take so fucking long. My mom literally used to iron it. It took so long. And then the last times that I've straightened my hair, it I think it took me like 30 minutes max. So that's how I knew that my hair was crispy. It's gonna take me longer because I'm like talking. But I feel like I was like in this mindset before where like I would see people on social media with like straight hair and I'm like, oh my God, it looks so good. And then I would be like, I have to straighten my hair every day. I have to do this, like curly hair is ugly. Look at all these people. But like, I feel like that's not, you shouldn't think like that because like a lot of people have straight hair. So it's like what you see the most. Even a lot of like celebrities or like YouTubers who had curly hair, like straightened it, which also made me feel like, oh, they're doing it. So I should do it. You know what I mean? So with straight hair is, it's like so, easy to fall into like a pattern of like oh i need to fucking straighten my hair every fucking week because it's so much easier to fucking manage it's also like cute you look like a different person honestly when you have curly hair and then you straighten it but like i don't know i just wanted to like my natural hair and like just wear it because i just need to like be myself and love my curly hair because it's i honestly love curly hair on other people and then when i look at myself and my hair like I just, I'm just like oh I look gross but I don't think I actually like my hair actually looks gross I think it's just me in my head so I'll see other people with curly hair and I'm like wow she looks so good like Anthony's sister has really curly hair hers is definitely curlier than mine I'm like yo it looks so good why am I acting like this you know I don't know I just feel like it's so easy to like fall into that I just like to love myself learn to love yourself Wait, oh my gosh. I probably should have like a mirror because I'm just using the viewfinder and it's like kind of hard. I feel so fucking good right now. Dev Cameron's new song is so good. That's literally like the name of the song, but it's also really good. I'm so fucking good right now. I'm just gonna give you an update on my life to be quite honest because like, what else am I supposed to talk about during this? I started watching Nancy Drew on The CW. I haven't really heard anything about it, so I probably wouldn't have watched it, but I watch Riverdale and I watch Legacies on CW. And I was watching one of them and I like finished the episode and it went to the first episode of Nancy Drew after. And I like didn't have anything else to watch after the episode that I was watching. So I was just like, let me just watch this. And it's actually really fucking good. I was actually surprised. It's like a new reboot of like Nancy Drew, I guess. I don't know. But there's only a couple episodes out and it was like actually pretty 
pretty good. I'm better than fucking Riverdale, and I'm watching that shit, so. Bro, Riverdale is honestly wild. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so fucking good right now. Good right now. My back hurts already. Wait, I'm gonna like try to finish this half of my head and then I'll be back. No, this is just useless footage of me staring at the camera, so I'll be back. I did half. The sun's like down. This took me about 15 minutes. It smells like burnt hair. Now we're gonna do this side. Walking through the dark in the night. Do this front half and I'm starting to sweat a little bit. These bangs were a mistake. Just like me. It looks so bad. This time last year, I literally had like really short hair. Isn't that crazy? Literally a year ago, my hair was so short. Every time I straighten my hair, I just get like so hot. I'm already like sweating. Probably should take this jacket off, but like, I don't want to do all that. Oh my gosh. The heat. Look, my hair is steaming. Steamy. Like, what did I, what did I, like, I probably did the worst bang cutting job in the fucking world. Like, it looks so bad. It looks bad as shit. Oh my god, my foot is falling asleep. Oh gosh, I'm uncomfortable. I forgot how much work this was. Oh my god, my whole fucking leg is like tingling. Why is it still asleep? Oh my god, I need my foot is like past the point of just tingling. It feels like needles are in my foot right now. Look how sticky and healthy and fresh. Hi, Waffle. What are you doing? Still one more fucking section to go. This is why I hate sectioning off my hair like a lot because I'll like finish the section and I'm like, yes. Or I'll like be almost finished. I'm like, oh, I'm so close. And then I have a whole nother fucking section to do, but it's not big, so. Ow, oh my God. This thing is like stuck. I'm just like getting really lazy and I just want to stop so I'm slowing down. Okay, dude, it's like fucking a billion degrees. <sighs> I'm overheating. Okay, I'm on the last piece. It's the last piece. Crazy, right? It only took 45 minutes because I kept fucking stopping in between because it's fucking hot. I needed a fucking break, okay? It's hot as shit. I'm just gonna touch it up a little, make sure I didn't miss any pieces. Okay, I think we're done. This is so weird. Brush the ends real quick. It's so soft and smooth. Probably pieces of hair everywhere. Is this a piece of hair? Yep, right on my face. So, wow, so much longer than the last time I straightened it. I feel like I look so fucking different with straight hair. Like, I look like a different person. I'm gonna just close these blinds because it's fucking dark now. Yeah, this is weird. Last time I straightened my hair, it was so much shorter. It was, like, here. Now it's, like, here. I don't know. But it grew. It's so, like, easy. Like, literally, I can just... And it still stays the same. Like, if I did... If I went like this with my curly hair, it would literally just be, like... Oof. I don't know if I'll go back to straightening my hair. Probably will occasionally. Just trying to fix my part a little bit. I probably will straighten it occasionally for fun. But honestly, I don't think that I'm gonna go back to straightening it as much as I was. Just because I'm, literally the only reason is just because I'm fucking lazy and this was just like a lot of work. I feel like my laziness is just getting to like a high level. I don't know, I still love my curly hair, but like this, is so cute too. It's a different me, you know what I mean? Like it looks like a different version of me. Wow, it's so Welcome back. Straight hair. Haven't seen you in a while. In six months. I don't know. I feel like curly hair and straight hair are both just so cute but in different ways, you know? I feel like my Leo rising just pops out when I have straight hair. Look at that. Wow. No frizz. No frizz. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm just gonna stare at my hair now. I really do love curly hair, but this is cute. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed me straightening my hair for the first time in six months. And subscribe if you like this video, even just a little bit. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, my foot's asleep again. This morning, a couple of our officers stopped at jail for a toll on the on the Bay Bridge. She said she usually pays it, but today she was like, Tell you what it feels like.